Well, the main causes of air pollution, certainly in the UK, are uh, the main one is transport. Uh, there are other big, um, big sources too, power stations, um, such industry as we have left in the UK is also a big source, but, but the main one is, is transport. And I'm not sure the message is getting across as well as it could. And it's a very significant public health burden, and I'm, I'm sure the public at large don't really appreciate the size of the burden. Um, you know, the, the, the current estimates are anywhere between 30 and 40,000 premature deaths each year associated with air pollution. Raising awareness would, would be vastly improved by, by modern technology, by, by technologies that, uh, that display things rather than, uh, than rely on words. Um, moving images where you can actually see pollution, I think, would help enormously to, uh, to get the message over. I think uh, the infrared technology is, is really important to us because unfortunately we're only born with five senses. Um, and what infrared really allows us to do is to optimise that sixth sense, seeing the problem before it happens. Oh wow, yeah, you can see the plume. Look at that. Yep. Excellent. That actually demonstrates what the models have been telling us for a long time, that, that most of the pollution from taking off aircraft occurs before they reach much of a height. And you can see it there. Once, once the airplane had actually lifted off and, and was, you know, tens, 50, 100 meters above the ground, you couldn't really see too much pollution because it's diluted and dispersed. But when it was actually taking off on the ground, then, then you could see quite dense um, plumes of pollution, which is, which is just what we've been modeling. I and mean, that's a nice demonstration of it. Back in the old days of the smogs in the 50s, I mean, it was very visible, you couldn't miss it. And these days, part of the problem, I think, is that it's an, an invisible thing, and, uh, and this does help to, uh, to demonstrate that. Well, this, yeah, you can actually see the pollutants, and you can actually see where they go. Uh, one of the issues is, is around children's exposure, where people you know, are concerned about prams and such like being very close to exhaust level and you know you can actually see where the pollution's going so that's uh, that could be a very powerful image indeed yeah